In this video, I want to explain how I've used planar location for this weld mitt fixture. So I've followed the 3, 2, 1 location rule. So first off, what we have happening is this tube and this tube will be welded together, as will the gusset be added, and this end cap, and this end cap here will also be added. So first, I'm going to turn this part transparent. So for three-point location, I've just again used a parallel or a flat O1 hardened ground plate underneath both parts. And then I have two standard dowel pins. Let's rotate around and have a look here for my two point location. Again, a planar location. And for the third planar location, I have one pin that this tube will push up against. And if we look at the next two, this three point location again is on this parallel. It's two point location. It's just two standard size dowel pins that it pushes up against. And it's one point location is to push against this tube. For the gusset, we have it sit on this little pad here. So there's our three point location. And then the long side will touch this face of the tube for our two point. And then the shorter side will touch this face of the tube for our one point location. We come over here and we look at this gusset now. We'll just rotate around. Here we see it has a block. So this pad is going to push it so it sits against this face. That will be our three point location. Our two point will be the longer side here at the bottom and our one point will be this side of this guide block. And we have the same thing here for this gusset. However, the three point location is against the magnet the two points is it sits on these two points of this guide pad and the one point is this edge. So in each case, all of my parts in this fixture, let's just go back to the isometric view, shut the transparency off, and every part that's located here has followed the 3, 2, 1 location principle of using planar locators with the main largest plane being three points of contact and then two points of contact as far apart as possible and one point of contact.